What's up guys? Uh, today is exciting. It's a very exciting day. Um, I'm actually waiting on a phone call right now. I know I'm wearing my glasses. Brandon, you look weird. Yes, glad we got that out of the way. Um, I'm waiting on a phone call right now. I'm probably fixing to go get a puppy. Yay! See, here's the thing. I've wanted a dog for like four years now and I couldn't have one really at my apartment because it had to be a small dog and I really wanted a big dog for a while now um so I couldn't have a dog that was over 30 pounds but now that I'm graduated and home Get a dog. <laughs> and I already talked to George about it, and he's like, I don't care, but I'm not taking care of it. And I'm like, okay, well, that's fine. I'm paying for it, so I will take care of it. Uh, now I'm just waiting on the guy to call me back. I, I got ready and was like getting ready to leave, and then I thought about it, and I was like, I haven't even talk to the people that have the dog to set up a time to meet them so probably should call and I did and they didn't answer so now I'm just waiting oh, I miss I'm so excited I'm so excited I've wanted one of these dogs for a very long time now uh, well not not like a very long time I fell in love with these dogs when I worked at the vet's office and ever since then I wanted one. Oh, by the way, I don't work at the vet's office anymore. I changed jobs. <laughs> and now I'm actually, hopefully, fixing to do that again. But we'll talk about that later. That's probably for another video. Right now, puppy. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Yeah, okay. <laughs> ah, I'm a mess. I'm so excited. Call me back. Okay, I'm gonna turn this off before I have 10 minutes of footage of me just being overly excited for a puppy. I'm like a child, but I have money, so I can do things for myself, and um, I'm, 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 I'm very excited. I haven't even discussed the other purchase that I made with you guys yet. Okay, so they just called me back. Um, it's probably not gonna be until tomorrow that I'm gonna go get the dog because they have a lot going on today. So I just told them, I was like, well, if anything changes, let me know because I don't have anything to do today. So <laughs> uh, probably not gonna go get the dog today, but probably tomorrow. So, so there's been a new update. Uh, sorry that I just keep updating y'all, but I'm very excited. Uh, the people called me back and said that they were just gonna try to put off whatever it is that they were gonna do for a little while to go ahead and give the dog a bath and dry it and all that good stuff so that I could see it today. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited. Furball, are you excited, Kitty? Furball, are you excited? You're getting a brother. Are you excited? Not at all. He has no clue what I'm doing. You're gonna love him, kitty. He's gonna be your brother. You're gonna have a brother. Furball's had brothers before. He's had feline brothers before. But they passed away. Furball has outlived his siblings. So, Furball needs another brother. And this one's gonna be a puppy brother. I got so excited and in such a hurry when I left to go get the dog that I forgot to make that update. But I'm back home now.
did Buster just jump up on my trap? But, um... He's very nervous and tried to throw up twice on the way here. He's a little nauseous. So he gets car sick, apparently. <laughs> but I just got home. I'm going to get him out of the truck, let him run around, kind of get accustomed to his surroundings, and then we'll update you guys later. But you're making a mess, dude. Him is thirsty. Puppy. Have you ever seen a kitty before? That was an aggressive face, Furball. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Pretty boy. So I went and got the dog. Obviously, he's here. Um, he is an AKC registered standard poodle. A very itchy one. I'm pretty sure he's got fleas right now um that is gonna be taken care of for sure but he doesn't necessarily look like a poodle right now because I don't know if they blow dried him or what earlier but his hair is pretty much straight there's parts of him that were still damp that are curly looking and you can see those but for the most part he is straight like his hair straight right now and he's super fluffy so uh, tomorrow he's probably gonna get another bath because like I said he's been scratching a lot today and I'm pretty sure I saw a flea on him so he's gonna get another bath tomorrow hopefully he does pretty well with that I guess we'll see but 
gonna have to go get him on some flea prevention and he needs his last round of puppy vaccines so he's gotta get that and a rabies he's so smart he's dumb if that makes any sense because just like the things that he does and the way that he does it uh, it's just hilarious he's terrified of stairs right now that's the obstacle that we're trying to get over is going up and down the stairs to go outside <laughs> he went up and down the stairs on the front porch fine but for some reason the back door freaks him out I guess because it's just right there at the top of the stairs I don't really know but he finally did it earlier so that's good we've actually already worked on two things today we have tried to desensitize him to the steps and we've also done some leash desensitizing because when I got there they had him on one of those little cheap um, leashes like what you see at a vet's office and <clears throat> they told me that was the first time he'd ever been on a leash so he didn't particularly do too well with that but when I got here I put a collar on him and a leash because I live entirely too close to the road to let a dog I paid that much money for get hit by a car <laughs> so um, he did pretty well he doesn't like me pulling on it or putting any kind of pressure on it but for the most part if I take off walking he follows me so he did pretty good with that today and I'm proud of him he's really bony right now which I've met full-grown standard poodles that you could feel their bones, like their hip bones and stuff like that. They're just really lean dogs most of the time, but I'm afraid that he may still have worms since he's a puppy. Puppies just about always have worms, even though he's been dewormed. So I'm going to have to take him to the vet and get all that checked out. He was not thrilled with laying in the floor. I kind of didn't want him on my bed because he does have fleas. But he kept pacing around the corner of the bed whining and standing up on it. He hasn't figured out apparently that his back legs work and he can jump, but he kept standing up whining. I was like, okay, I know kind of how to solve this. So I just picked the blanket up and laid it on the bed and he's laying on it on the bed. So, and I know that y'all are probably sitting here thinking, Brianna, that's ridiculous. Why would you get a dog and not let it sleep on the bed with you? Well, see, Furball sleeps on the bed with me too. And Furball does not have fleas. If he has fleas and they leave eggs behind and Furball lays there, Furball has fleas too. So then I'm treating two pets with fleas, which I understand they can jump off of him and get onto Furball. I really wanted a white standard poodle because that is the type of poodle that I met and what made me fall in love with poodles but I kept seeing this picture of this black puppy and I was like okay they're really cute and they were so close like the people that had him are from my hometown like they live in the same town I live in whereas everybody else is like two, three, four hours away and they wanted a thousand dollars for the dog. Um, I only paid half of that for Bub. Yes, I did buy a dog. I know that's really frowned upon, but you just about can't, actually I'm gonna say that you can't get a standard poodle for free. I have nothing against adopting dogs or going to get dogs from a shelter but this particular dog was a breed of dog that I really wanted I've never had and I got the opportunity to go get him had the money so I did if you don't like that I'm sorry please don't tell me about it in the comments I know how people feel about buying a dog versus adopting a dog I completely understand that and pretty much every dog I've ever had was a dog that I adopted from somebody it was never with the exception of the miniature pinchers we had I did not go buy those dogs um, my parents did actually I think the first one we had was given to us 
but other than that every dog I ever had has been an adopted dog so this time I got a dog that did have to pay for it but that was my decision so please I don't want to hear about it in the comments he has already discovered his reflection in the refrigerator and a minute ago he saw himself in that mirror on the back of my door and barked at it so I'll try to see if like if he gets up or anything and happens to do either one of those again I'll try to record it so I can show it to you guys because it's pretty funny but I'm very excited to go on this journey Well, um, that's pretty much it for this video, unless anything else exciting happens, which it probably won't, but if it does, I'll let you know. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time.